Hi and welcome. Today I have an Ask Nicola Q&A about turning a book into an ebook. Today's show is brought to you by the Structure Success Video Training, which is all about coming up with an outline for your life story. I have more about that freebie coming up. But first, a big shout out to those of you who are following, subscribing and liking the show. It's really, really terrific to help other people find the show, which is all about learning how to write life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on. You have to excuse my voice this week. It's a little bit croaky, but I'm pressing on. So these Q&A questions that ask Nicola is when I step out of my normal role and answer the questions as a life coach and as a journalist, whether you're writing an autobiography, a memoir, a biography or another life story project. And it can be about planning to write, doing the writing, the editing or the polishing and publishing of a life story project. Today's question is, here we go, how can I make an ebook? Is it as simple as saving my Microsoft Word manuscript as a PDF file format? What other things do I need to think about? So this is a really fantastic question because it shows that we are in this modern age with so much technology at our fingertips. The ways that we can save a life story project and celebrate it is there's just so many. For example, we could, we could do an interview where we can record that in audio or video. We can transcribe it. We could make scrapbook life stories. We can do feature article life stories, write a book, even create a life story website. Now, how's that? But this question is all about ebooks. And if you've got a finished manuscript, a finished book that you want to turn into an ebook, it's really, really simple. And I'm going to go through four things for you to keep in mind when you're doing that. So the first thing is hyperlinks or links. We've all used them when we're surfing the internet, but they're really handy for an ebook because by its very nature, ebooks are being read on a device that's potentially connected to the internet. So it makes it's pretty logical to think, yep, we can include some links in our book or in our document. Now, links are really good for adding extra information about something you might have mentioned in the writing. For example, this could be an identity, a person. You could link to some more information on the internet about them. It could be about an activity you've mentioned. It could be about a specific time period or place or something else. The idea is that you're providing a bit of information that's relevant to your reader at the time. But then with the hyperlink, if they need to sort of double check it or reconfirm it and find out more, then they've got that option, making it really easy for them. For example, many of you know I did help my grandmother write her autobiography. She's 100 and we put hyperlinks in her ebook. Things like a church that her family attended when she was growing up. It's a really historical one here in Australia. So I put a link back to the church's web page. They have a historical page about the church and its founding. So I put a link from her book to that page. Also, uh, my grandmother's husband served in World War II and he had he went to do training, military training, and I linked to the historical pages for some of the camps where he attended, again, providing more information. Uh, another idea that I linked was my grandmother and her family went through a lot of natural disasters um, when she was young, for example, floods, and I've linked articles from the time so the local press did articles about that disasters and which I've referenced in the book and then I've been able to link back with a hyperlink to see the full article online so really helpful in those kind of in instances to provide more information for your reader but a word of caution because you could potentially link every word in your book and I'm not recommending that because it gets really annoying for your reader so less is more this is just like the little sprinkling of icing or a little decoration on the top. It's just going to be that little bit extra that you can provide in an ebook. 
Okay, I hear you say I've used hyperlinks, but Nicola, how the hell do I make a hyperlink? I've never done this before. I'm not tech savvy, what do I do? And this is really easy once you know how. You're gonna probably get addicted to doing hyperlinks, I warn you. So basically what you do if you've got a copy of your manuscript, your finished manuscript, this is gonna become your ebook manuscript, you open it up, maybe you're doing it in Word, Microsoft Word, or you're doing it in Apple Pages, whatever it is, most software this will work. So you get up your manuscript, and then you're going to select the key phrase. So in my examples, I might have selected, say, the church's name, like in, in the print, so highlighted that. You want, usually you want a selection of words, like a name, a, couple of, a longer name, or... <coughs> excuse me, you'd like, say, a phrase. You want a couple of words because if people are reading the ebook on a tablet or they're reading it on their phone, you want a big target for them to hit with their finger because it does get hard. So when you're on a desktop, it's easy with the mouse, but when you're on those devices, it's a bit harder. And if you've got a larger hand, then it's even harder. So always select a few words or a phrase to make your hyperlink. Then we're going to right click and you're going to look for something that says link, hyperlink, and select that. On most softwares, there'll be an option to do that. It'll bring up a dialog box with a field where you can copy in the exact address of the page you want to link to. Okay, really important to get, just copy and paste exactly that link. So it'll be something like https colon slash slash say foreveryoungautographies.com slash. It's gonna be something along that kind, of, that kind of idea, you know, with all the backslashes. And then you're gonna hit okay. And basically that's it. Your phrase and those words are gonna come up now. They might be in a different color, they might be blue, and they're gonna be underlined. And when you hover over it with a mouse, you're going to notice like the, the address is gonna pop up. And if you click it, it's probably gonna open it up in a, in, a, in that window or in a new window. So that's how to make a hyperlink. Go on, you know you want to. So the next thing I want you to consider, which is point three today, is our cover. Ebooks definitely need a cover. And if you've made a print book, you'll know that you have the manuscript file and you also have a file that contains all your covers. So your back cover, your front cover and the spine. So two files for a print book, but for an ebook, only one file. So you need to somehow put your cover into your manuscript. Now, if you've got a graphic or a photo of your cover, that's fine. You can use that. All you need to do is go to your manuscript. The, this is the ebook manuscript. Create an additional page at the start and then import or cut and paste the cover image into the front. If you've got the original print graphic, you might need to sort of crop that to get it, but save it in. So just treat it like any other photo that you've probably got within your manuscript and save that. But what do you do with the back cover information that you might have prepared? You probably won't be able to use that as a direct image, but you can definitely use the photos that might be on the back cover and the text, and you can incorporate that into your ebook manuscript at the back. So this might be in about the author section. So just treat it like a bit of text and a photo. Okay, we're nearly there everybody. The last step is how to save your ebook, now it's done, as a PDF. Now, if you're, you wanna do PDF, mostly because it's able to be read on most devices, most ebooks are PDF. Obviously, if you're, Using some of these print on demand platforms, they have the ebook function. They might ask you to do a different format, but a lot of them are PDF. Okay, so if it's that's they do that because they're selling the book, there's different reasons for that. And I won't go into it. But if you're doing a book for family and friends, PDF is completely fine. So, again, to do that, you need to open your manuscript for your ebook whether that's Microsoft Word or Apple Pages, pretty much the process is the same. So if you're in Apple, just need to check that your print size, 
matches your trim size of your book. Keep that in mind for Apple. And then we're going to go File. We're going to Save As if you're Microsoft or Export if you're Apple. And then it's going to come up another window and it'll say File Type. So in there you can have a drop down menu and you can select PDF, the PDF. And there might be an option if you're in Word that says PDF A slash or PDF slash A compliant. Make sure that's checked because that will embed your fonts and your graphics. If you're with Apple, it might come up with an option for image quality and you want to select as high as possible, say good. Then all we do is hit OK and away you go. You have got a PDF of your ebook. So there we have it, everybody. Um, everything you need to know as a life story writer of turning an ebook, or oh, turning a book rather, into an ebook. So to recap, we talked about hyperlinks, adding those in and how to make a hyperlink. What to do with a front cover? You need one file for this, not two like a print book. Fourthly, then saving it as a PDF so it's shareable. That is the aim of the game. That's what I want you to do today is to get excited about making an ebook turning your life story into an ebook because it makes it so much more shareable in this modern world. We've got so much technology, we should be using it. So I know I went through all of that really quickly. So if you'd like the step by step directions of how to do all of these things, head over to my website at foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash turning a book into an ebook. I'll have all the directions and links to more resources. And while you're there, let me know, are you going to turn your book into an ebook? Leave me a comment and you can leave me a comment about anything or ask me any of these questions for the Ask Nicola series at foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash contact. The free training I mentioned was the Structure Success Video Training and you can get that by signing up at the website at foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash Structure, success, sign up. All you do is put your email in, hit OK, and I send you the link to that one. And I go through some exercises so we come up with some key events, key memories of your life, and organize them into a rough outline for your book so that you can make a really good start. Highly recommend that you sign up for that one, and it's completely free. And I also would like to recommend that you share, share this show with someone who you think might find it valuable. Get them to subscribe, follow and like the show. It really does help spread the word. Uh, be back again really soon with another topic. So until then, everyone, happy writing.